and Wangeshi is a sign language interpreter tonight. My name is John Jacob Curia. Welcome to the broadcast. President William Ruto has called for unity of purpose amongst leaders as his government works to reduce the high cost of living and address unemployment. The head of state who attended a church service in Kajiado maintained that his administration will ensure prudent use of public resources to improve the lives of Kenyans. The head of state joined fellow worshippers for an interdenominational prayer service in Kajiado. It is here that he addressed concerns on the rising cost of living, pledging to boost food production, invest in manufacturing, and create job opportunities. Tuko na mambo matano ambayo tunafanya kama serikali muliochagua kujaribu kukabiliana na shida ya gharama ya maisha. Jambo la kwanza tumesajili wakulima wote milioni tano. Na mwaka huu tumewapatia mbolea kila mkulima kiasi ya ile alikuwa anahitaji tumeweka pia katika budget yetu ya mwaka huu hiyo ambayo wabunge wamepitisha pesa ingine ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaongeza mambo ya mbegu na mbolea kwa wakulima wetu mwaka unaokuja jambo la pili tumeweka vile vile mpango kwa mambo ya ufugaji Additionally, the president stated his government has allocated more resources towards construction of schools, employment of teachers, as well as disbursed funds to counties. Ni meweka pesa ya kuwa ajiri waalimu wengine elfu ishirini na tano in this budget. Mwaka ujao ni taajiri tena waalimu wengine kwa sababu tuko na upungufu ya waalimu karibu elfu miyamoja na kumi. We must close the gap so that when our children go to school, they go to school to learn because we have teachers to teach them. This week, I have paid all the money. There is no single shilling county in a dying national government. Last year, walivuka na madeni ya counties. This year, nimesema sivuki na deni ya mutu yeyote. He also revisited the discussion on the housing levy, saying it will create jobs. Leaders who attended the event also cautioned the opposition against violent protests, even as they exercised their democratic right to picket. Iyo no go zone. Tuwache tabia ya kufikiria kuna Samson kwa sababu hatuku vat, pata tuvunje nyumba tuharibu uchumi tufanya maandamano kwa sababu hatuku pata. Hiyo ni hadithi ya Samson. Let us be responsible citizens to saidia taifa letu. Kwa 